So we all have heard a lot about Salesforce NPSP, uh, as well as uh, there is a new term that has been coined out, which is non-profit cloud. And a lot of people out there think that it is one and the same thing. First of all, let me tell you, it is not. If you think so, it's a myth that you have. And let's burst that myth today. First of all, NPSP is a different thing and non-profit cloud is a different thing. Let me explain you one by one what exactly is the difference. Salesforce NPSP is a managed package built to provide you the capabilities and some features, some basic features of uh, like uh, like some basic features to manage your non-profit with the help of Salesforce uh, platform. And this managed package was provided by Salesforce itself on the app exchange application for the non-profits that were out there who wanted to use this use Salesforce uh, org to manage the non-profits that they're running. So NPSP initially was a managed package. Uh, you can call it as an app exchange application if you do not understand what managed package exactly is. And when you talk about non-profit cloud, so it's a wholesome cloud which Salesforce has come up with, which has got the features of NPSP plus a whole new different set of features, which allows any non-profit out there to do so much more than what NPSP used to, uh, like what, what, what NPSP let them do right earlier. And what exactly is the difference? This managed package and this cloud, uh, the difference, primary difference is that the Salesforce cloud is built onto Salesforce industries. When I say Salesforce industries, it's velocity. Earlier it was called as velocity. And in velocity, there are uh, different, different tools with the help of which uh, we can build our applications on our, uh, on our own with just some simple point and click tools. Uh, do we call that as Omni? Studio, studio right uh, so with the help of omni studio we built uh, like we build app like we can build applications or we can build different different features on top of salesforce platform itself so non-profit cloud is absolutely native to salesforce and it's it provides you more features compared to npsp where npsp was just a managed package which allowed you to do certain things related to the, uh, running a non-profit which, which is sufficient for the company, uh, for the non-profits, which are smaller in size and wants to just manage a little bit of things. But for some, for, for organizations who really want to manage a lot of, lot of things, non-profit cloud is the uh, thing that they should go ahead with. The reasons are because with non-profit cloud, they also get the complete, like with non-profit cloud, uh, they get the capabilities to develop more things as well. Uh, or let's forget about the capabilities to develop more things. Uh, the, all of the, all of the things that Vishjeet recently talked about, the program management thing, the case management thing, uh, the volunteer uh, management, I guess, and then the grant uh, ma managing and everything. All of these things are already pre-built and provided into non-profit uh, cloud, which was not earlier part of NPSP. So yeah, that's what it is. Uh, now let's try to understand the evolution of Salesforce non-profit cloud. In Salesforce, uh, 1999, Salesforce started uh, non-profit starter pack came in 2008. Uh, then it became non-profit success pack in 2014 in 2015 lighting lightning interface launched i guess it it was announced in 2015 it was launched in 2016. Yeah, I was, it, it, it started rolling out from there but yeah yes in 2019 dot org and dot integration happened and in 2023 salesforce cloud got launched uh so let me tell you what exactly salesforce is trying to do Salesforce initially started started uh, as a CRM platform or a cloud CRM platform, which is agnostic to the industry that can be developed specific to the uh, business and the industry's specific needs and requirements. So earlier they were industry agnostic and could be customized for whatever industry or whatever business wants to use it. Slowly and gradually when Salesforce got into the market and acquired a huge chunk of the market uh, share, what they started figuring out was that companies or businesses or whosoever who wants to use Salesforce wants pre-built implementations to be done. They do not want to go through the hassle of getting it implemented by some implementation uh, partner and the complete success of that uh, implementation or that technology or Salesforce capability is going to depend on to the quality of the implementation partner. So Salesforce uh, eventually slowly and gradually is trying to build specific solutions specific to the industries. So they started with industry agnostic and now they're going industry specific and why they're going industry specific is because if, like, of course, the, the turnaround time to start using the technology and get it live uh, gets reduced. There is a pre-built widely, like widely tested uh, 
like widely tested architecture that gets created already and that is already uh, used by a lot of other players into the similar business or into the similar industry so that adds on a lot of lot of credibility and a lot of a uh, lot of uh, i mean a lot of time saving and resource saving in terms of the hit, uh, like in terms of the hit and trials that you do with your implementation partner to get it customized according to your needs and requirements because a manager uh, like manager a can get it implemented in some other way but manager b wants to get it implemented some other way but when you are getting it already implemented and all of the architecture is getting already pre built uh, it's just how it is and still you are getting the capabilities and the features uh, to do some more and still customize it on top of that as well so that's exactly uh, what salesforce is trying to do and which is very very helpful for the businesses who really want to use salesforce and that's exactly what non profit cloud is it's nothing it's just us <laughs> using salesforce industries you have built a functionality for non profit cloud and that's what it is and that's exactly what manufacturing cloud is and that's exactly what all of the other clouds of salesforce are uh, to the re- to like really to the core of it uh, even the vaccine cloud was like that So this velocity and this Omni Studio thing has changed the game of Salesforce, and they are going industry specific, and that's exactly what what non-profit cloud is. And NPSP was nothing but just an app exchange app uh, that you just installed into your uh, <laughs> org and got some features uh, which were provided over there. Now let's get into the details or the trenches of what exactly the difference looks like. Uh, as I said, uh, and by the way, non-profit cloud is not at all free. uh npsp app exchange application was free as per the information provided to us <laughs> uh the uh, like uh, and uh, uh, the difference is uh, non profit cloud is a little complex uh, where npsp was a, a lot simpler the data model uh, was a household model where all of the contacts were linked to a particular account and then uh, everything was happening through that uh, this non profit cloud allows you to have person accounts and uh, stuff like that which allows you to manage uh, specific information about a specific donor or specific uh, volunteer if you are storing that information there do we yeah okay um npsp is built on uh, sales cloud itself a uh, non profit cloud is built on the comprehensive set of features of course with the help of salesforce industries or the omni studio um uh, again for in npsp for npsp you do not pay additionally uh, but in non profit cloud uh, other than the salesforce licenses that you pay for you also have to pay for salesforce non profit cloud licenses that's exactly what the difference is and again as i've said it earlier in the fo- forward looking statement as well please do check all of these things uh, with the account executive and the account manager when making any buying or purchasing decision do not rely on to any information provided over here this is just for informational purpose uh so yeah, you require a se- separate license uh, in addition to salesforce in non profit cloud uh, and now let's talk about the features uh like npsp focuses on the core functionalities like donor management and program management only uh and can help you get uh, things integrated with the different applications whereas non profit cloud offers a broader range of features built in including program management volunteer management grant management and einstein ai etc and then implementation support requires more technical expertise for setup and ongoing maintenance for npsp or uh, non profit cloud generally easier to implement with pre configured setting as i said Uh, there's already pre-tested uh, and pre-designed uh, model which is created by Salesforce itself, con- keeping into consideration, uh, keeping into consideration all of the non-profits that that are already using Salesforce, right? So it's generally a lot easier to implement this one. um again npsp future cons- in future considerations of npsp are open source and likely to be available for the foreseeable future even if salesforce phases out of official support so it might go open source and these are again future considerations these are not facts that i'm stating in here so oh, it might go open source and it might be available uh, for for like uh, future in future as well um and e- like even if salesforce phases out official support so it's not like that just because salesforce has come up with non profit cloud uh, they're going to just retire npsp just like that but probably they're going to uh, phase out its official support if they're already providing some and they would want more and more people to uh, move towards non profit cloud than npsp as it provides more features and comprehensive set of uh, features non profit cloud actively developed and updated by salesforce salesforce is very high on the non profit cloud right now Now let's talk about com- uh, like the features uh, which are available into NPSP and uh, like which are improved in non-profit cloud. 
and uh, then the net new features that are that have come into uh, like non profit cloud so number one is only available in npsp uh, which are address management and giving levels marketing cloud integration and address and uh, deceased check so these are some insights insights that are there now there are parity between npsp and npc uh, and when i say npc it's non profit cloud so there are person accounts household and relationships accounting subledger information action engagement plans deduplication and merging payment processing and giving pages gift entry and the things which got improved into npsp which were there in np uh, which which got improved in non profit cloud which were there in npsp earlier are relationship viewer gift data model soft credits designations planned gifts refunds pledge management recurring donations customizable roll ups batch data import business process api all of these things and then uh, like what are the net new uh, things in npsp which were not which which are still not there in npsp or npc non profit cloud it's getting so confused yeah uh, donor support so donor support was not there uh, in npsp it's there in non profit cloud grant management is uh, new in a non profit cloud donor profile is there portfolio is there interest tags are there segmentations source codes document generation upgrade campaign attribution and url generator so all of these things are uh, like are are there in only non profit cloud but not in npsp so based on the differentiation uh, into this feature list you can make out a decision on to which one you want to go ahead with